Hey, well, it's back to this idea of train graffiti. And I am able to stand still at some cars that are parked so that you can do some analysis, if you like, on what we call train graffiti. Now, what is the purpose of the train graffiti? Well, one thought is it's just people wanting to express themselves and create something that other people will see. And I use the phrase, the artist within. That's a possibility. I do remember uh, growing up that when there was wet cement, I wanted to put my initials in the wet cement, and I did. <laughs> it was my grandfather's house, and he let me. I also remember a spot where I used to play ball, baseball, with a rubber ball and bounce it off the wall. And behind me there was a store and one day I decided to get some airplane glue and put my name on the brick in airplane glue. It was just a desire within me to put my name on something and let it be there a long, long time. Now, I did check on that little brick where I used the airplane glue and as of maybe 10 years ago, my name was still there. I don't want to give my age, but <laughs> most likely that would that airplane glue with the name on it there would be at least 50 years old. Now, I must have produced some type of chemical reaction when I used the airplane glue on that particular type of brick, so my name got etched into the brick. So, is it that people want to etch their name into something? Is it that people want to release some form of creativity within themselves on something? Is it that people want to just be rebellious and go ahead and do something they're not supposed to do. Like the rebel within. You know the old movie, Rebel Without a Cause. <laughs> Just what is the motive for being rebellious? Well, if you understand the Bible, you'll know that the true motive is to just defy God and defy his word and live the sinful self. Now here's another uh, car where the graffiti has been painted on it. So I must discuss one other aspect of this and that is the cars don't contain what you think they contain. Maybe, just maybe, there are other things in those cars. For example, maybe like a shipment of drugs. One individual suggested <laughs> dead bodies, massive killing somewhere, and dead bodies. <laughs> is it possible that the graffiti is secret language for others? to clue them in on the true contents of the cars. As you can see, most of these cars that I'm passing have the graffiti on them. So I'm letting you just see the graffiti and see what I see.
And here's some graffiti on the front of the car. Ordinarily, it's on the side of the car. But here's some graffiti on the front of the car. What exactly does it mean? Is it coded? And why is it coded? And for who or for whom? Here's something that's very legible. Culbertson Cowboy. So I'll just walk down the line again so you can see the graffiti. And you can place some comments there. It's been an interesting topic for me. And one of the great things about having the YouTube channel is you can get responses from others. And their thoughts as well. Where do these cars go? How far do they travel? Now there's some more graffiti that doesn't really appear to be English, if anybody can identify the language, please let me know. There's something that's pretty legible. Step back here so you can get the fullness of this one. And coming up on this one, once again, these jibber jabbers. There's someone that tells you very clearly. Summer nights. Two thousand nineteen. So maybe these cars were parked somewhere and they were partying. You can freeze frame this if you want to try to decipher any of these. Are these curses? Are these sigils? Oh, here's somebody that decided to draw So I got to step back now so you can see the fullness of the graffiti.
Now I wonder if these are initials of a person or what this is. This is, looks like a V and an M and an X. Are these coded signals to gangs? Drug lords? Anyhow. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.